What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.4 beta one to register developers and soon to public beta testers. Now this update comes just a couple of days after the release of iOS 14.3, which of course brought quite a few new features and changes. Now along with iOS 14.4 beta one, we also got iPadOS 14.4 beta one, watchOS 7.3 beta one, and tvOS 14.4 beta one but as always this video is all about ios and ipad os 14.4 so we're going to discuss what's new in this update the performance the bug fixes and talk about when we might expect the next software update from apple all right so let's go ahead and check out the size of this update so you can see here it came in just over 4.5 gigabytes on my iphone 12 pro right here and it was a pretty large download across the board on all devices so you can expect a pretty big update coming from 14.3. And if we head over to our settings to check out the build number, general about 14.4, you can see the build number there is 18D5030E. So a pretty long build number with an E at the end, which does indicate that we will have quite a few betas of 14.4. And we'll talk about once again, when we can expect the next beta later on in this video. But if you go down a little bit to the modem firmware, you can see we do also get a new modem firmware update here in 14.4. So if you were having cell connectivity issues, those could be resolved because it is now 1.41.00. So a pretty nice jump there for the modem firmware. And that is also across the board, but that's what it will be for the iPhone 12 series. Now, as far as what's new in this update, there's really not too much. And if we check out the release notes from Apple, they actually only mention one thing that has been changed or addressed in this update, and it has to do with app clips. So they say, in addition to using code scanner, you can now launch a local experience via camera, NFC, Safari smart app banner, or iMessage. So we have a minor adjustment here for the app clips in 14.4, but that's about all that Apple talks about. So let's talk about what else is new here because there are a couple of other things I wanted to discuss and not everything is necessarily new in 14.4, but there were some server side updates like in the app store. So if you go to the app store and you go to an app page right here, if you go down to the privacy section, you'll notice that we now have the new layout here for the privacy. It's a lot easier to digest, you know, what the application is doing in terms of privacy and you know what they have access to on your device and your information. So you can see it says data used to track you. So it shows contact info, other data and identifiers, and then it shows data linked to you. So it says the following data may be collected and linked to your identity. And it shows all of this for a much more transparent experience while using applications. And I think this is great for privacy sake. Apple is really, you know, trying to make sure you know what these applications are, you know, how they're tracking you and what they're taking from you in terms of your information. So this was something that Apple showed off at the keynote when they first introduced iOS 14, but we're just now seeing it roll out. And this rolled out actually after 14.3 was released and it was a server side update. Now, another new feature I wanted to discuss was actually available in 14.3 but I don't believe I ever covered it here on the channel. And that has to do with music on the lock screen. So you guys will see when I go to my lock screen, when nothing is playing or I'm not connected to a Bluetooth device, nothing shows up. But let me show you what happens when I pair my AirPods Max, when I pull my AirPods Max out of their case. So when I pull these out of the case, you will notice now on the lock screen, if I go ahead and connect these right here and put them on. And if we go back to the lock screen now, after connecting our AirPods Max, as you can see up there, we now have a nice little new layout here, which shows some playlists and things that were added to the Apple Music Library. And you can scroll on them right here and you can get quick access to listening to these. So if I wanted to listen to Let's just say evermore if i just tap on that it will actually start playing the album right there and you don't even have to go into your phone or into the music application which is really nice and extremely convenient now unfortunately on the lock screen we still do not have the scrolling text right there so if you have a title that's too long to show right there it won't actually scroll like it has in the past so i feel like that was just a feature that apple added and they're not going to change that because it's been like that since I believe iOS 14.2. So it does still run across the screen when you go into the music application. Of course, if you go in here, it will scroll a little bit right there so you can see the full title. But once again, it doesn't happen on the lock screen. And another thing I wanted to point out is that I noticed a bug with the AirPods Max glyph right here in 14.4. So if you take a look up top, when I connected my AirPods Max, it actually showed the wrong color glyph one time. So it was right like six or seven times 
and then one time randomly it turned to silver even though i have space gray airpods max so that was just a minor bug i noticed here in ios 14.4 now moving on to dual sim 5g support so i know a lot of people have been asking me about 5g on dual sim so if you have like an eSIM and you want to use 5g on both sim cards you are not able to do that and still in 14.4 beta 1 you are not able to do that so i'm not sure what the time frame is looking like for that coming to the iphone 12 series but hopefully we get that sometime in early 2021. Now, as far as the green tent bug or the yellow tent bug, whatever kind of tent you have over your screen of the iPhone 12, this is not extremely widespread, but there are quite a few people facing this issue. It looks like that is not fixed here either in iOS 14.4 beta one. And that is another bug I would expect to be resolved very, very soon. I would not even be surprised if it was a fix when the final version of 14.4 gets released sometime next year. And then I also wanted to touch on the text message notification bug, because this is something that was actually fixed in 14.3 and it was not fixed at all through all of the beta stages even the last two rc builds or the first rc build it was not fixed so it wasn't until the second rc build and the final release where apple actually addressed the text message notification bug so i've not had any issues with text message notifications i've even tested it i've had people send me text messages and i've received every single one so it appears that Apple has finally fixed the text message notification bug. So hopefully 14.4 or any future iOS update does not bring that back, but for now it appears fixed and that is good news for so many people that have been facing that. But as far as anything else new in this update, I have not noticed anything else on either iOS or iPad OS. So really not too much to talk about here with the first beta of iOS 14.4. And, you know, that's kind of indicative of the release notes here that Apple put in the developer portal. They just put this one little resolved thing for app clips right here. So not really too much. And honestly, you shouldn't really be expecting too much from a 0.4 release. Apple usually starts to slow down with the new features and the crazy things after the 0.3 update. So usually from 0.4 on, you're not going to notice as many big, you know, outward facing features and changes. This is usually when Apple starts to really focus on the bug fixes. And speaking of bug fixes, I really have not been able to tell what bugs have been squashed because I just installed this, you know, a couple of hours ago. So I will be using this on my main device and I will report back to you guys in my follow up video. I will talk about what bugs have been fixed or if I notice any new bugs, things like that. You guys know I like to bring you those follow up videos to tell you all about that. But anyways, moving on to the performance. The performance is something where I also cannot tell a major difference from 14.3 but again i am using it on my main device so i will be able to tell you in a few days to a week but if we go over to the geekbench scores here you will notice that the geekbench score was actually pretty similar to what it was on past versions so we got a 1578 single core and a 3713 multi-core as you can see there on 14 0.4 so very similar results to ios 14.3 so it's looking like the performance is going to be very similar to the previous public update now as far as the battery life goes i would not expect much from the battery life i would not expect either an improvement or a drop off if anything maybe a drop off in battery life just simply due to this being a first beta and with that long build number with an e at the end i would expect multiple beta so i would not expect too much from the battery life but if i had to guess i would have guessed that it's pretty much the same as 14.3 but once again i am using this on my main device now and i will be able to tell you guys you know how the battery life has been next week so now when can we expect ios 14.4 beta 2 and i'm actually thinking that we will not see ios 14.4 beta 2 until the first week of January or technically the second week of January, January 4th. So sometime on the week of January 4th. So that is about three weeks from now. So be very careful when installing this because, you know, if it's not very good, you're going to have to go quite a while, most likely without a new update to maybe fix some of those bugs. So I do have videos showing how to downgrade. You do need a computer to do that, but just know that we probably won't see a new beta until, you know, maybe the week of January 4th. Apple usually takes the week of Christmas off and then probably the week of New Year's off as well. Now there is always a possibility that Apple releases something, you know, on the week of the 21st or the 28th, but it's just not likely. I mean, history indicates that Apple does not like working and pushing out updates close to the holidays like that, especially on the week of big holidays like Christmas and New Year's. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about iOS 14.4 beta one. Were you able to find any more 
features or changes in this update? Did it fix any bugs for you? Let me know all of your thoughts and your experience overall down in the comments below. And of course, make sure you guys stay tuned for my follow-up video on 14.4 beta one, which is coming pretty soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.